the U-Ball Caliber might be the best pod system out there. I'll explain to you why this is actually the best bang for your buck and smokes the jewel's ass. So stay tuned and find out. Welcome back my ducklings to my channel. Woo! I am Fun Duck, the vape reviewer. In today's review, I will be reviewing the pristine and beautiful UL Calibrin, Calibrin, UL, UL, Calibrin. Name it whatever you want. I will be reviewing this brand new, of course, and comparing it to all the conventional pod systems out there on the market, like the Smock North, the Smock Nova, and all the other Smock and pod systems out there. But before I get into this video, click right down below if you want more vape reviews and to learn about pod systems, laughs and of course giveaways speaking of which i'll be announcing the smock nova 2 winner at the end of this video and i'll also be doing a new giveaway for a special device so now on to the review this product the you all caliber has been recommended to me by everyone literally everyone's like andrew thumb duck whatever review this please review this it's such a great pod system and finally i caved and i said i'm gonna listen to the viewers and review this product and compare it to all the other pod systems out there of course just for you guys i'm so excited to open up this beast so let's do it while I open this I'm going to give my usual facts about this pod system so the cool thing about the UL caliber or UL caliber it is draw activated but it's also button activated so you could decide which one you want based on your needs so a lot of people use the jewel and that is draw activated so they're not used to the button so the UL has that some people like the Nord which has a button and of course that button is there on the UL as well so that has best of both worlds if you really want to switch to something new it's already kind of cool looking the box is really really nice let's open up this bad boy the pod size is about two milliliters and the jewel pod size is about 0.7 milliliters kind of wonky the smock nova 2 has a two milliliter pod size and the smock nord the mighty beast has a three milliliter pod size so you can kind of do the difference between them they're all great but of course the jewel's lacking in pod size which sucks because a lot of people want their pods to last long saves you money and it's just better right i also did reviews on the smock nova 2 right up here if you want to check that it also has a 550 milliamp battery the jewel has a 200 milliamp battery get wrecked jewel <laughs> the smock nova 2 has an 850 milliamp battery the nord has a 1200 milliamp battery and the rpm 40 has a whopping 1500 milliamps i know it's not close but it's still really really good and is the best bang for your buck it is not expensive at all it's about 25.99 to $30 depending on where you are. A lot of pod systems now are about, you know, a really good one is between $30 and $45. The Jewel is still around $60, so please explain that to me. I have no freaking clue. Kind of gets me pissed off. So here it is. Here's the instruction booklet, the warranty card right here, and the device. Woohoo! Look at that. So that's obviously the device that comes with the pod inside. I'm guessing the cable is right in here and all the other necessities. Let's see what's in this little package. I don't want to destroy the box. Comes with headphones. <laughs> Joke's on you. Nope. And I just dropped everything. That's, that's great. What's in here? All right, so it comes with another pod in that little box. Comes with the cord. It is fast charging, so it'll charge fully in 45 minutes. That's pretty sweet. You know, a lot of devices are not fast charging. I don't know why it came in such a special box, but hey, I'm not complaining. I keep dropping everything, god damn it! The device itself is beautiful. I can't believe this. I feel like I'm at an art exhibit. Mona Lisa would definitely be proud of this. Jesus, look at that, gorgeous. The device has a micro USB charging slot, which is great, it's universal. Everyone has micro USB, so that's good. That's one pro of this. The button is nice and smooth, it's right at the top. And the pod system comes out like a charm. It's really pretty, and it comes with a little plastic on it, so it's brand new. They remove that. The pod has a matte finish, it's really nice. It is so light too, like even with the pod inside, it is so lightweight. I feel like I'm holding a feather. Absolutely amazing. Definitely already great. The UL Caliber has a nice restrictive draw hit, which is really good for salt nick and good for a lung hit if you want something good. Salt nick is preferred in this because you'll get that smoother and stronger hit depending on the range of nicotine. So you can go from 20 to 40, 50, you name it, whatever suits your needs. So this is a great device for salt nick and it will provide all your needs. That's awesome. Remember, it's refillable, the jewel's not. A lot of pods are refillable. I certainly suggest refillable pod systems. You'll save more money. It'll be better. Think about it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm quickly fill the pod. I believe you pop off this mouthpiece right here. So you pop off the mouthpiece. I am a disaster today. So you pop off that little mouthpiece over here. And you fill it literally right at the top and two slots left and right up here. So I'm gonna do that. The pod is filled. I'm gonna put this mouthpiece back on. Clicks right in. Nice. We're gonna let that saturate a little bit. We're gonna put that in here. 
to turn it on, you gotta press it five times. One, two, three, four, five. Turns on, and then you're good to go. Obviously, this also has a LED indicator, which indicates the battery life and when it's being drawn. When it's green, it's 70% and above. When it's blue, it's 30 to 60% battery life. And then, of course, when it's 30% below, it is red. Dangerous red. <laughs> Believe it or not, coil is 1.4 ohms. That's unbelievable. That's gonna give you a nice, strong hit fast. It's also gonna feel a little warm. Of course, as the battery dies down a little, the hit will be a little bit cooler because there's not enough wattage to support the hit. That's okay, though, because you can suit your nudes. 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 Yeah, your nudes. You can suit your nudes. You can suit your needs based on how much battery life and how much capacity you want. It has short circuit protection so that it won't blow up when you're vaping. It also has a 10 second cutoff time, which will stop you at 10 seconds when you're inhaling. As also a protection feature, which is great. Every device should have that because you never know what could happen. So, of course, I gotta compare the clouds for both these, see which one hits better, the U will Caliburn or obviously the Jewel. Let's see which one hits better, which one has better clouds. We're gonna test that out right now. I'm also gonna try using the button and try using it without it and see if there is a difference. I'm gonna try the U will Caliburn and see how that fancies. This is not holding the button. <coughs> that's some big clouds, man. That, that's pretty good. The throw hit is wicked, man. Like, I love that throw hit. Hold on, let's try it again. Got some hefty clouds, a great throw hit. I freaking love this already. Let's try it with the button. It's the exact same with the button. It gives you the same hit, gives you the same amount of clouds. It's still great, suits your needs based on draw activation or a button pressing. You decide what you want, it's great, beautiful. So now we're gonna try the jewel clouds and the jewel hit and see the comparison. So let's try this bad boy out. I mean, it gives you the clouds you need, it does give you a hit, but overall, you know, this is probably gonna be better, it's gonna be cheaper, it's the best bang for your buck, like I said. It's draw activated, it has a bigger pod size, I could go on and on and on. The battery size is obviously bigger, and all the other pod systems are really good. This, compared to other small products, maybe it's not the best one, but it's definitely the best priced one. I'd have to say that, and the draw is beautiful, and it might be actually one of the better draws of all the products I've reviewed. Of course, I'm gonna max this baby out, see if we get that 10 second shut off time. Inhale as much as I can, let's see how that goes. <laughs> that never works, does it? Well, let me tell you, I got a head rush, and the flavor of this is... <laughs> It's great. I'm not crying, am I? It was just a little. The flavor is wicked, man. The jewel, unfortunately, is definitely not better than the caliber. I'm gonna have to say goodbye to you, my friend. Here we go! Adios. Thank you, my ducklings, for tuning in once again to this video. I appreciate all my new viewers, all my new subscribers for tuning into my channel. Appreciate it so much. I hope you liked it, and I hope you learned some stuff. And if you want more information, and you want more vape news, and vape reviews, laughs, and of course, those giveaways, subscribe down below. Smash it, hit it, do whatever you like. Feel free to do that right now. I promise I will not disappoint. Contest time, my ducklings. So a couple of weeks ago, I did a review on the Smock RPM 40 kits, and I also did a giveaway in that video for today, which would be the Smock Novo 2. Beautiful device, 850 milliamps of battery, two milliliter pod size, an LED indicator, a micro USB charger, wicked device, and the winner for this contest, and lucky, lucky contest winner, Serena Nice, congratulations. This is a beautiful device. I will contact you soon on this winning. But hold on, wait, 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 wait. Slow down. I got another contest coming at you guys. So today I will be giving away <laughs> The jewel, the infamous jewel, I will be giving away that to lot, one lucky winner. The only way to enter the contest is to like, boom, is to subscribe, boom, and comment down below this week's question for this contest. The question for this week, what is the best vape juice flavor you have tried to date in the market right now? And explain to me why it is the best. Don't forget to comment down below, subscribe to enter the contest. Thank you my ducklings for tuning in to my video this week. And I hope I filled you up with some information. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to comment down below as well. And I will do my best to answer them. I'm pretty good at answering these questions and usually no one gets left unread. Stay tuned every Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern time for a new video. I'll catch you you guys soon. Thumb duck out. Woo! Thumb duck on the track. With a little rap. Yeah, yeah. I'm here to celebrate. Because oh. I did something great. Yeah, yeah. Thanks to all of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a bunch of views. Yeah. 
Yeah. I hit 1K. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm here to stay. Yeah.